Right, good morning guys. So what I thought we'd do, Rachel's away, Chloe's obviously had a big night last night, um, who else? And Susie already told me she was going out last night. So for anyone who's watching this later on, then we're going to do a really lovely warm up today and we're going to do a really nice cool down as well. I went dancing on Thursday doing my cha cha cha. Cha 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 cha. Um, and yeah, somehow I managed to pull a little bit there. So, without further ado, let's keep our shoulders down and let's really slowly come up. Oh, the sun is just rising. And two, three, four. So, nice warm up. Then, obviously, some cardio. We'll do a few weights, not loads, but just a few because they help burn the cardio. And then just over, try and keep that bicep kind of over your head and not in front of the body. And for three, so we're getting a little bit, so we're not kind of rounding through the back. We're stretching the quadratus lumbar and then lower back muscles, which get super, super tight and cause a lot of problems. And last one, take it in, hold. Last one. I'm laughing because I make such a bloody noise when I'm breathing. And then again, the other way. Don't worry about the noises you make when you breathe. And three. I hope your Illumi Kerry was nice last night, Sarah. My, I had mussels and sea bass and some fruits. Beautiful. Last one. And then over. Four, eight. Four, seven. Four, six. Four, five. Four, four. Four, three. Two more. Two on the one. Hold it. Take it over again. Try not to do this. Really, really reach. Take a breath in. Try not to collapse through the shoulder of the elbow that's on the knee. Take a breath in. Breathe into the rib cage. Last one. Gently up. Rachel's not on, so we don't have to go crazy today. And then pull back. Oh, feel that beautiful stretch. Well, it might not be beautiful, but that stretch through the pecs, the chest muscles, chin to chest. Take the hips back. Just take your arms to where they feel comfortable. You don't have to bring them up towards the ceiling, just to where they feel comfortable. Let yourself just hang. Bring the hands back to the bottom, in between the legs, and then just take a little rock either with fingertips or palms down. Just rock forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a stretch out before you start doing, you know, the hard stuff. And then walk both hands to one foot. Again, let the head hang, take a breath in through the nose. I need to blow my nose, I think, out breath. position step bringing your feet in softening through the knees nice gentle roll up to stand in position bone by bone good let's do three pelvic circles three two oh, one then the other side three two and one well done we'll just take a little side bend one two, three, 
one, two, three, side bend the other way, one, two, three, one, two, three, beautiful, let's start warming up now a little bit more, so we'll keep our shoulders down, we'll do 50 low squats, one, two, Ten more, for ten, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, three, two, beautiful, one, back to centre into Markham and Wise, pull and one, try and pull that shoulder back. Two. If you want to just concentrate on the eyes, you can, eyes and shoulders, you can. But obviously we want to try and warm up the calves a little bit before I hit. And you can bring your toes up as well when you come back down. So you're activating the front of the lower leg, the tibialis anterior muscle, which sometimes gets a bit neglected. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And... One, and then just four circles for four, for three, for two, for one. Lovely, the other side. One, much better to warm everything up, guys, before we start, particularly with weights and things. And release, and then we're just going to pull back for eight, for seven, for six, Five, both Mace and Jude have gone to work with my brother, they're out of the house. Finley's going to clean his room today, because if he doesn't, I'm going to kill him. And three, two, and one. Beautiful, well done guys. Okay, we're just going to walk it out. So, bring your feet to the edge of your mat, chin to chest. Take the hips back, if the back's a bit tight, then just have some softness in the knees. Try not to hyperextend the knees. Gently down, just hold it there. Take a breath in. Out breath as you walk into plank. Okay, push the mat away. Really feel like you are pushing your breastbone in. And then round your shoulders a bit, taking your scapula apart and then send the heels towards the floor. That's like the position you want to be in for plank, you want your neck in the same alignment as the rest of the spine. Yeah, the C spine is still part of it, so don't look up towards the ceiling and then take a little round if you want. You don't have to lift up the bottom waist and then the other side. Push the mat in, reach out. You can always put that bottom knee down like this. I'll show you. Sorry, I should have showed you first time. Back again, so you can always put the knee down and then just, it's a really nice way of activating. And then back again, the TA muscles that wrap around a bit like a corset. And then back, hold. Take the hips up nice and high, walk the hands back a little bit, take the right heel down, the left. Karen, I know you met me, I know I remember you saying, oh, it's nice when you do one of your classes, Jenny, tell us about the muscles. But I just think sometimes when you know why you're doing an exercise, it makes you think, actually, that's why I need to do it. So like this, obviously stretching everything out so the Achilles don't get all spongy, yeah? Them tendons that link into the heel. And then gently back and up we go. Oh, mobilising through the spine. Let's do that one more time. Chin to chest, hips back. If you want to go into a child's pose, you don't want to do the strength bit, then you can if you want. Walk it out. Again, take a little bit of time to get the plant right. Push the mat away, lift the breastbone, heels towards the floor, round the shoulders a little bit, shoulder blades apart. Either take that knee down before you twist, or just keep it into side plank, lift up. But watch your shoulder, you need that big gap between ear and shoulder. Back the other way, we'll just do it this once. Lift, so you're activating the waist muscles, as Liz calls it, the muffin top. And then hold, and then take the hips up nice and high, walk the hands back, heels towards the floor. Feel that deep stretch, and then just gently, gently walk yourself back 
to your feet and slowly, slowly up. So we've done a good warm up guys, just give yourself a little bit of a neck stretch side to side, mobilising through the neck before we just lift some weights. So we'll do our weights first and then the cardio and that will burn more. So you want to do like six to eight mobilisations on a morning and then round. Whenever I flick this little blooming plant, I always think of Chloe and her lovely long plant. <laughs> Two. Oh, I'm getting my hair cut on that day, that works. Scrag it. And then one. Two. Three. Two more. Good. Well done, let's get going. So take hold of one way. I'm going to try this big one if I can. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that one with it. So what we're going to do, warm up the hips, warm up the uh, biceps. So into your lunge position first. A little bit of strength first before we cardio. For one, for two, for three. So weights are so good at combating osteoporosis guys something that in your 20s and 30s you definitely don't even think about maybe even in your 40s but you should do you should do it's really nice to see young girls now at gyms taking strength four three two i'm laughing i had a class at jd yesterday and this guy he came last week actually but he came and we did loads of side leg curls and he and came up to me at the end and he went, that's the worst thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I said, someone said to him, well, you came back for more after last week. And um, for four, I didn't take it to her. Three, two, he said, women are so much stronger than the butt. And one, well done. And then just go easy on this one. So I, you'll see me soften my elbow a bit in this because they're a bit too heavy. For me these two, three, four, five, so we're going to do every action with the shoulder, six, four, three, two, and one, well done, the other side, shoulders down, lift, five, four, three, two, one, five more, Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. And back. So obviously don't increase your weight too quick, guys. These are fives, but I have been using fours at the gym for a bit. So you want to only um, kind of go up a kilo. Don't worry about bulking, guys. You will not bulk. Women will not bulk. They'd have to lift loads. My flexibility is better. Now that I'm using heavier weights, to be fair, four, three, two, and one, and then the other side, and again. This is as, this is as big as I'm going now. Two, and one. And then just grab your other one just for two more sets. So this one, we're only doing, we're going to do eight. Take it in and out. One, keep the rib cage closed. Two, three, four, four. I find these hard. Three, two, one. And then, like this, rib cage closes. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Good. That's all we're going to do today. Sit down. So we're going to try and exhaust every muscle group if we can. We're just going to do a big stretch out before we do some cardio. Push the palm into the shoulder blades, I can't think of what we're called. Then the hand 
between the elbow, oh, sorry, the hand on the elbow comes onto the top of the head. The hand between the shoulder blades comes behind the back. And then we just take a little stretch, take a breath in. Last one. Good. The other side. Take it up. Push it in. Into that tricep. Take a breath in. Beautiful. Hand onto the head. The other one, this is really important, this stretch. Yeah, once this, well, as you know, Zoe, once this move becomes difficult, we struggle with drying our hair, putting our bra on. So really important we keep our shoulders moving. And gently up, and we're just going to take a soft roll down before we get started. So softness through the knees, chin to chest, hips back, just gently, gently down. Oh yes. Yeah, one of the girls I was dancing with, last time we did it, she got sciatica, and then it's, so it's weird, isn't it? You know, when you're doing a dance you've never done before, how you're kind of probably slightly moving through one leg more. And then gently up. Give it a thought, moving your arms and your legs at the same time could be so difficult. Okay, so let's take, so if you don't want to do your roller one, I do because I feel like that will really stretch out through that side. Then you can do high knees, yeah, which is quite nice. So we'll do three of the same exercise. So I might do a roller, I might do a high knees and then a roller again. So we're just coming, one. Or high knees, two, three. Four. If you're doing this one, keep that tummy nice and tight, a little bit of softness in the knee. We're well and truly warmed up. Quiz the time, yeah. So 15 minutes hard, guys, before we do our um, cool down. Eight more, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. In fact, because we're doing our hip inflection, the next one, let's do butt cook instead. But let's do a full minute. Three, no, 45 seconds. Let's go. Nice and quick.
Ушли.
again. <laughs> See if I can do it right this time. Three, two, one. I don't know what I'm doing this morning. One. I'm going this side. That's thirty. Forty five. Five. Have a little rock and then come down into a child's pose. Two cats, a cat, 
Relax. Last one. Straight up into it. Downward dog. Walk the right heel. Walk the left. Walk the right. Walk the left. Keep the right heel down. Five, four, three, two, one. The other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Soften the knees. Walk it back. Gently up. Right. We're just going to do uh, three more exercises. Okay, just 20 of each. 20 pop tarts, 20 jumping squats, 10, well, I'll show you the last ones. Okay, look forward. Three, two, one. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. I promise you a nice cool down. 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 more. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little roll down. This is your transition. Gently up. Twenty jumping squats. Three, two, one. Let's go. My less is undone. into our cool down and again beautiful one foot over the other same hand as the foot in front up take it into your hip ITB pull that wrist Gently up. Switch sides. Whoops. Three, two. Push out. Back over. Chin to chest. 
chest, hips back, gently down. Gently up. Stack. I feel like we've worked most muscle groups today, lovelies. And again, so from this angle, some people are really tired and they just have to tuck and they feel. I don't feel anything in that. So I have to, because I'm tight through the back legs, so I have to really. You can come up like that, but again, when you've been doing hit, it can feel a bit wobbly because your legs are tired. So. There is a dynamic one you can do as well, where you kind of do this, look up, this, look up. But again, whatever feels good. Tuck the tail, really tuck your tail, but really push your hip forward. It's nice to have this back leg on the settee actually as well, that can really work. And then back up again, just release it, then come in again, tuck your tailbone. And then back, straight in the front leg, hips back, reach forward. This really gets my hamstrings, probably more than taking my hands down. And then gently up, and just because I'm a bit anal, guys, about ankles and things and feet, just come down onto the floor, give you... Knees a little hug into chest and we'll just do our nice little inversion, eversion. So lengthen the left leg, point the foot of the left leg, just take the right leg up, don't come into imprint, just to about there. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, circle, circle. I've got to stay in here a bit longer because Martin's washing up from last night. <laughs> No, I'm only kidding, that's one thing he's good at. And in and out, well, there's lots of things he's good at, but washing up is one of them. He never minds about that, I've got to say. Mind you, he did have a party to himself last night, so a full bottle of Carver. Imagine him, Tommy, what's wrong with it? And then out to the side. Martin gets to Friday night, and he's like, it's time to party in there. We were taking an account now because I had a big bottle of water. And then the other side. A few nice events in February though. February's looking really nice. And then out oh, flex and pie. We've got out next Saturday, aren't we? We've got the 10th sewing, which will be fabulous. And then in and out. Um, at Hamilton on the 20th. A yoga event on the 17th. And then it'll be spring and back. And then just take the soles of the feet together. Hang on. Just butterfly a little bit. Oh, and thank you, body.
body if you're getting through this. And clap, guys, that we've nearly got through, Jan. Let's do the long more. And then just take your arms backwards, take a beautiful breath in. Chin to chest, start lifting all the way over. Oh, yes. And restack. And just however you want to get up, guys, I'm just going to crawl to the uh, thing. 